So this week we sat down with a group of voters, all of them registered Republicans, almost all of them who voted for President Trump because we wanted their temperature on how he's doing so far and the issues that matter the most to them. We got into all of it and you'll see that discussion on this show over the next few days. But first, health care, an issue they all care deeply about, but not a single one of them like either of the Republican plans on the table. Raise your hand if you voted for President Trump. Do any of you want the House or the Senate health care bills to pass and become the law of the land? Not in its current form. I'm not really happy with the health care bill that they have so far. I'm not happy with the current health care bill, but uh, I'd like to see more free market so people can choose how they want. I think he still has a lot to prove, and I think I'm probably one of those Republicans that he still has a lot to prove to. You have a Republican House, a Republican Senate, and a Republican White House. There's no excuse for Republicans not to put points on the board. And that's where I feel it's almost like a football game. It's his offense that's trying to drive down the field, but keeps having these penalties and it keeps bringing them back. You have to put points on the board, and there's really no excuse now for Jerry, it. Jerry, is, is, he, is he right? And then, and then to you, Josh, as well, is he right? I mean, you give the president a, a B-plus, and Bill says... He's got control, you know, the Republican Party has controlled the White House and, and, and Congress. And, and he says they need to put points on the board. They need to get legislation done. We do, and I agree to his point. We hold the majority in the White House right now, uh, in our Congre Congress as well. And this is a great time for our president to be an effective leader, to deliver on some of his campaign promises. I'm looking forward to what's to come out of the health care bill. I do think personally that he should consider reforming it instead of repealing it. I think there are layers there that ought to be changed, but there are layers that can remain. But his promise, you know, the president's promise was repeal and replace Obamacare on day one. On day one. You don't want to see him do that. It sounds like you want to see him work and, and, and Republicans in Congress work with Democrats to alter Obamacare, is that right? Absolutely. I would, I would love to see our elected officials work together, work across the line for the benefit of the people. We put them into office and they should do what we want. You pay their salaries too. Absolutely. By all means, they've had plenty of years to have this health care bill ready to go on day one and they should have done that and they didn't. Um, and it's I mean, it's just what you would always say, your typical politicians not doing what you want them to do. Um, a repeal, I don't think they're actually repealing Obamacare. I think this is a reform of Obamacare. They're just going to call it a repeal. But it's really not a repeal if you actually go ahead and look through it. As a Republican, does the House or Republican or Senate uh, Republican health care proposals right now help, help enough Americans? Are you pleased with either of them? No. No. No, I would like a full repeal and I'd like free market. I would like free market. Health care is not a Republican or Democratic issue. It's a, it's a human issue. It's a, we all need health care. Um, we need it to sustain ourselves, our family, our, our children. And it's an issue that shouldn't be a, a partisan issue. So was the president then Richard Wright? or wrong to make that a center point of his campaign, a full repeal and replace of Obamacare? Well, whether it's right or wrong, I think it was a necessary thing to do. We Why? all know that Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act is heading is a disaster at this point in time. Premiums have increased. In some states, you all have but one, maybe, sometimes mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. health Provider. insurance companies participating. But that, but you, it is on the road to disaster. My question it's is, imploding. was he wrong to promise a full repeal and replace? Should he have said, we're going to fix this? I think the way the, the Affordable Care Act was set up, it was doomed to fail, so it needed to be replaced. So, no, I would not say he was wrong in, in saying that it needs to be replaced, because it does need to Are be replaced. Are Republicans going to get this thing done? If they don't get it done, the president has said that he's going to move on. And what I think is going to happen is that perhaps we can actually have Democrats and Republicans working together because even Democrats. You mean on tax? You mean on, on health care? So even it Democrats. Like you actually want the Republican versions in the House and the Senate to fail? I don't agree with the versions as they are right now. Okay. I don't think it does enough. I'm I not, think I'm they need right. to be negotiated. I, I think they, you know, they, they put something together quickly just to get it on the table. And they need to sit down now with Democrats and Republicans. It, to me, it doesn't matter whether they repeal and replace or fix. Because it doesn't matter what you replace the Affordable Health Care Act with. You're going to have to have some of the provisions of Obamacare to make it work. But get it done. I retired at age 62. 
I tried to get health insurance after I retired because I had to wait till 65 to get Medicare. To get the same benefits that I was getting while I was working and paying $40 a month for was going to cost me $802 a month. I couldn't afford that. I went for a year and a half as a diabetic with no health care. I just didn't go to the doctor. As Republicans, raise your hand if you want to see Democrats and Republicans work together on this thing and come up with something different than the Senate and the House have put forth. I think, that, I think that's an easy question. That's an easy one there. A no Look, this is the yeah. president that wrote the art of the deal. So get in and make a deal. Make a deal. Then That's get right. in and pull people together just like you did when you built buildings all over the world. Get in, bring people to the table, and, and make it and do something. You think President Trump should be injecting himself more into... Well, he owns this issue, right? I mean, he's made this a focal point, made this a focal point in his campaign. He's using the bully pulpit to, to push for it. Uh, I think it's a wake-up call for him as well. And if he can't get it done, if, if the Senate and the House can't get it done on health care, what, is, what does that say? I, I mean, I just think it's a big defeat. I, don't, I, I don't think, think that's a defeat for the president. Get it done. I, think, I don't think that's a defeat for the president. I it's think that is a defeat Congress. for Congress. None of them, all Republicans, not one likes either option. Interesting. Separating though the president's popularity from that of Congress.